Good afternoon. My name is Bob Cook. I am the science teacher coordinator here at Frederick Douglass. And today our topic uh, we would like to talk about is our STEM fair. For those of you that do not know what STEM means, it's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We, like most of our science students every year to do a STEM project. This helps them in understanding all the parts of the scientific method which they need to know when doing any kind of research in science. I would like to talk about um, scientific method that students will need to use in order to complete and do a good job on their STEM fair project. Each student will be given a STEM fair project guide. This project guide outlines every step that they need to do in order to complete and do well on their STEM project. I would like to talk a little bit about scientific method. In order for students to do a good job, they need to understand what scientific method means. Scientific method means first they need to choose a topic. We always tell our students to choose a topic that they are interested in. That way they will do a better job on the entire project. Once they have chosen a project, then they need to do research on that project. Once they have completed their research, from the research they are going to form a hypothesis. Now from this hypothesis they will need to either prove or disprove their hypothesis. In order to do this they need to come up with an experiment. Now this experiment must be something that they can measure. It must be measurable. Meaning that first they will come up with a topic, they will research that topic, they will form what we call a scientific question based on the research and then a hypothesis. And the hypothesis will state whether they believe they will, that their uh, scientific question can be answered or not. So at that point, they will come up with an experiment. This experiment must include several things. First, you have to come up with a material list. This is all the materials that they will need to use to do their experiment. Once they have gathered all their materials, next they will come up with a procedure. How are they going to prove or disprove their hypothesis through experimentation. Once they have come up with a uh, procedure, then they will begin the experiment. As they are doing the experiment, they will start to collect data. This is very important because they have to be able to collect data to know whether or not their hypothesis was correct or not. Now, once they have collected this data, based on the data, based on their research, based on their experiment, they will conclude whether or not their hypothesis was correct or not. These are all the basic steps in scientific method. Students need to understand how to do scientific method, not just for this STEM project that we require them to do, but also for any other science that we do here at Frederick Douglass High School.